Hey guys, this is Gorax. Uh, today is the first day of a Kingdom Championship. We were matched against Kingdom 19, which put up a good fight against us. They are currently winning on points. Uh, the way the Kingdom Championships work is you have three arenas open and one is a hotspot arena where only one faction is available. Um, the, uh, the arena that we are... Uh, have as a hotspot is Avali Arena, which is a Rampart faction. So you can only use Rampart heroes and Rampart units. Uh, as you can see, uh, our whale, which you pro pronounce Bye Bye, apparently his name is Bye Bye, um, is rank one. He joined it quite late, that's why we are losing on points. Otherwise, we got quite a good uh, standings in this arena. Mm. I'm currently rank uh, 9 myself because uh, my Galo is weaker compared to my opponents. I only have 3 star Galo. And also, what is worth to remember here, you should not be attacking your allies. Even if you want to take the spot because you think you're better, you should not. You want to fill in these spots. That's why uh, I'm quite behind because I didn't want to attack my uh, allies. Uh, it's better if they take these spots because I can fight the stronger guys later on. So this is the arena. I'll talk about the trial later on. Trial is available after the uh, first day of the arena. So I'm rank nine, and over here we the we are in the lead, which means we are making more points than our opponents. Uh, we are making uh, thirty thousand points an hour, and they're making only twenty nine. So we we are getting nine nine thousand points an hour more than them and then we got how many points i've done i've done i've managed to get eleven thousand points and i'm, I'm getting a uh, 1200 an hour uh funny thing here is see number one number one alone produces uh same amount as all the guys between 11 and 20. <laughs> So if you got like one guy sitting on top, you he's going to produce massive amount of points. All the guys within top ten do. Uh, all these lower rankings um, produce less, but they, see even if you get a hundred guys sitting at uh, ninety six points per hour, that gives you ninety six hundred uh, points, which is twice the rank one bar. It all depends on your server um, attendance, uh, attendance, because our server is quite dead. There's only about 270, maybe 300 people playing, if these numbers are good. Um, so let's see what else we can see in the window. We got a ranking, so you can see your, everyone's position here, and the power. As you can see, I'm running nine. And all these arenas are reward you uh, daily, just like the normal arena, they reward you with the different currencies, the one I'm talking about now rewards me with gold and uh, coins, mm, the other two offer different uh, prizes, which I'll go through soon, then we got defense, uh, so, so you set up your defense uh, units, as you can see I can't use anything else, I can use only these heroes, and you can all use all your machines, then we got data, data, Shows you top three benef top three point makers from uh, both servers. Um, as you can see, thank uh, I would like to thank my uh, server guys guys from my server for showing up and doing a great job. Uh, you can also put uh, check the point comparison, which tells you exactly how many points each person done and how they doing. It's a top ten from uh, each server. So as you can see, uh, we got people on top that have managed to get much more points than everyone else. Uh, however, their server is spread rather evenly, which means uh, they've been they've been on it for a long time. Um, so that's point conversion. A good report, so it shows you who attacked you and if you won or you lost. Also, when you uh, when you uh, fight on the arena, when someone attacks you on the arena, you'll have a kind of notification that shows you that there's something changed if you dropped your rank. And so before we go to the trials, let's check the other arenas. Um, so we got uh, Raffia, which is a castle and um, 
It's castle and a tower. So I'm rank four. I've only lost to this astral. Uh, he's got uh, stronger units than I do currently. He's uh, he's obviously a uh, main in astral and he's VIP fifteen. I'm only VIP thirteen. It's not an excuse. I'm actually invested in Necropolis, so my my units level is much uh, lower than his. He's got 90, 90 level of units. I are only 85, as I spread my units evenly. And our uh, whale uh, is rank first at the moment. Um, as you can see, I could easily overpower this guy here, but you don't want to attack your mates. You want them to keep the spot. So that that is the top ten. So they got more people in the top ten, but we occupy the highest spots. As you can see, let's go to um, data. So I'm second in points accumulation here. That guy is first. Um, otherwise, it's quite uh, good. See that guy is quite strong. Four point six million, but he's L. Uh, He's not so active, which is weird. He's somewhere lower now. If he's below ten, top ten, that means he wasn't active. He's not playing very active. Um, then we go to the third arena, which is a uh, Krillut. So this is arena which I got no chance to compete with because I don't have Kilga. And you can see here, the guy that owns this arena is. 5.3 million power so he's uh, he's a mega whale he's out of this world whale okay um the second guy is our whale which is only 4.4 million power so imagine that and that guy spent a lot of money he's got all the units on six star and then we got a couple more kill girls one luna so as i said before you're not supposed to take your mates Spot, so that's why I'm on, on uh, spot number nine. Um, when it comes to uh, point accumulation, I'm rank two on my server, and uh, the way the, the 5.3 million guys rank one on their server. Mm, so that's so you got 15 chances to try arena fights every day, you should split them evenly to make the most of the points. And after 10 o'clock, uh, you get a daily reward, just like a normal arena. And I believe I can see them um, in the rewards. Okay, so I'm not sure if it is an active uh, thing. I'm not sure if that resets daily, but if it does, then it's great because it gives you a lot of coins and also gives you Dragon Steel, which is very important in my case because I, I want to upgrade all these SR Plus units. Uh, without spending any money so at 10 o'clock you'll get a reward three different rewards from three different arenas and uh, depending on your rank you can you get spell scrolls you get heaven cast stone which is really nice this is why this arena is quite important but i'm rank nine um, and also avali gives you uh gold and then we get the projected points. I didn't get these points yet. I think it's gonna you're gonna get them once this event finishes. Um, I might be wrong. Let's see shop. No, so we'll probably get them when this finishes. Okay, so now we go and we can talk about the trial. So trial is. Uh, let's read through. So the number one lord of arena wins the crown after the arena rank is uh, are calculated at ten o'clock on Wednesday and Thursday only. All players are qualified to content for the title. Players will get great rewards such as glory coins and once they have completed champion trial. Champion trial have difficulty levels. Easy is Vindicator trial and the rest of difficulties are champion trials. In the champion trial, the strength of the champion lords will be weakened to a different degree. Players should choose the difficulty based on their own strength. Okay, so it will be a strength of champion lords. Okay, players can challenge the hardest trial immediately, so you can do it straight away, you don't need to go through every level. Upon passing the trial, players will get the trial rewards of all difficulties without need to challenge. So if you go for the highest level, you'll get all the rewards from previous levels as well, so it's gonna save you time. If you decide to start from the easiest trial and then challenge the hardest trial, the rewards difference between two difficulties levels will be evened 
up once you win. So basically, we'll get them as well. If you fail the challenge, you can try it again as there's no chance limit. So it's quite nice to do it. Now we need deployment set who, when players are in champ field trial. Okay, so let's try with this. So this is what I get. I'll obtain uh, 500 coins, 16 potions, and one uh, token. So let's see. So I can choose anything. That's great. So what is running, girl? <laughs> All right. So let's just win it easily. Well, not easily because... Um, because uh, it said that my units will be weakened, so let's see how how uh, weakened they will be. So he's running cavalry, there, but he's running a weak cavalry unit. I wonder if I can see power of that unit. Yes, I can handle. Okay, so it's level one, so I'm not worried about that. I can always stop it. Like uh, let's stop it with that. Uh, let's go necro. Okay, I'm gonna use my. Uh, Using bomb dragon on top. This is what I'm gonna run. I want my charges to get to his uh, back line as soon as possible. So he's 4.3 million and 3.8, but I'm using Sandro. And he's using Gal, which means his unit's HP is gonna drop quite fast and he should be able to take down my tanks. Okay, we can play it manually or we can play it in auto. Let's play it in auto. Okay, so it's going to be an easy win, although he's got much more power, it's going to be an easy win because uh, Sandro is just too strong in, at the moment. Astral is stronger when you get the right units, but Sandro makes your life so much easier. Okay, let's move on. So you get randomly obtain one R unit soul as a unit soul or as this R unit soul. Okay, so that's that's a nice item. Okay, so we cleared this arena. I can't do anything else till the morning. So we won against this champion. Let's move to another arena. And another champion. Let's go for the highest level. And he's using Solmer. Okay, so he's using Solmer and he didn't even set up his defense. Okay, <laughs> he didn't bother setting up his defense. That means I'm going to have an easy time. I can just uh, destroy Naga through that. Okay. As you can see, uh, this guy didn't even bother setting up his de defense here, and he still managed to be rank 1. He's from my server, so I hope next time he's going to uh, change that. Yeah, look, one combo from his uh, Solmer destroyed my... Uh, my Wits, which are which got like 70% magic resistance, I believe they got 75% magic resistance and just one combo destroyed them which t which tells you how bad magic resistance is as a stat yeah guys remember Solmer is not a weak hero, he still does a lot of damage Okay, interesting. He's using a rock thrower over there. So he's got down lot. Okay, so we got another one and let's go for Okay, this is going to be a hard one. This one will be tricky. I'm not sure I'll win using Sandro. He's using single target single units and he's using a rocks on top. So he's got quite solid defense team 
I want to avoid this line. The reason I want to avoid this line is because he's got rock and a cyclop over there, so he's going to do a lot of uh, AoE damage from a back line. So I never played against such a high power Kilgore, which means I'll probably lose. And I'll need to do a couple more tries, but let's see. Should be killing his uh, ox. I'm gonna try it in auto and then I'm gonna try it in, uh, in manual. My whites are almost dead. So he's healing the orcs. So if, I, if I'm going to do it in manual, I need to make sure uh, I uh, do enough damage with my combo to take him down before they ult. Before he. Uh, for Kilgore uses his old ultimate. As you can see, my back line is down. She's even using prayer. Oh my god, he's got so much healing, no chance I'm gonna win there. Oh, and he's got that. And a tank machine. Oh, he's. That guy is strong, guys. So his behemoth did the same damage as my leech. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I'll try to figure something out. Okay, so I tried legendary for a couple uh, good minutes and I can't even get close. So what I'm gonna do is here, I'm gonna use my astral and I'll slowly uh, move up in difficulties. Um, so we'll see how far I can get. I think he's out of the reach at the highest level. He's just too strong. Even for my astral. I don't use astral very often. But I had to use it this time to make sure I destroy him. I, I probably could have had a better result with uh, Sandra. I mean a quicker one. But... Wanted to try my Astral. Don't usually play Astral, so let's see how my units did. Okay, so Thunderbird did most of the damage. As you can see, this free. Uh, I need to replace Cyclops. It's rather weak. Mm, I don't have a stronger unit, so if you guys got any suggestions, so let's try a Legendary now. It's only a small difference. The, the thing you should be aiming for is uh, this uh, extra token. It's quite nice. So let's try a free tip because uh, this um, Cyclope that did quite a small damage. So you saw these uh, air elementals of his taking quite a lot of damage. That was from the Thunderbird. Thunderbird shows you his power. It's a very strong unit. Okay, so up until that point, I can easily win. It's just going to be a long fight, but I'll win it eventually. Just the last difficulty that's really hard and I think I'll just pass on it because I still got one more video to do today about new server and it's quite late. Just go back from work. So as you can see, Astral is quite powerful, but this guy Kilgore, he's running a prayer, which means he's boosting his healing even more. This, uh, so that's why he's rank, for, rank one, because if, if you attack him, He'll just uh, out heal all your damage. As you can see here, slowly taking him down. Just on the last difficulty, it's impossible. I'll, I'll give it one more try, and if I, if, I, if I fail, I'll just skip it. Let's see the damage shots. 
Mm, okay, so as I said, okay, so it's much better now with the Ifriti. Much more damage done. So this is what I'm gonna use for, with my Sandra for now. Okay, let's try it again. We're not gonna change anything. And the, the reason I like playing Astral in a PvP is because you don't need to do anything. He just plays himself. In auto, he, uh, is, the AI, AI is quite good when it comes to spamming spells. So, okay, the first thing I can notice is uh, on this difficulty, his units do a lot of damage. And he's healing for a lot as well. So if my tanks die, sadly I don't have a behemoth, but if my tanks die, that's me. Uh, done. Okay, so that was uh, Angel's Resurrection. Comes in quite handy, but I see my bottom line is dying because of rock. Yeah, so that's it. I, I, I won't be able to pass it because his uh, Cyclop and rock line is just demolishing me. And I can't get his orcs down as well, so his single target is quite good as well. So we'll see the damage done. So it's a, as you can see, his orcs do even more damage than my Thunderbird because he's just uh, just constantly hitting my tanks. Um, okay, so he's got a couple nice damage dealers here. Yeah, he's behemoth, look at that heal. 88% of all the healing done here. Okay, so I'll leave it as no point of me getting extra 50... Uh, coins just for that so that's pretty much it that's the first day i'll update you guys tomorrow i'll probably add it to my uh daily uh new server news because tomorrow is gonna be a just an update on the points how we are doing on u20 server thank you guys for watching and i'll put an update on my uh, eu63 uh server in a couple minutes as well hope you enjoyed it thanks thanks for watching